Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday, day 21, November 21st of our 30-day challenge. That's right. It's day 21 of our 30-day challenge. You are almost to the finish line, and I am so, so proud of you guys. So let's go ahead and look and see what's on the docket today. Again, even though we spoke about it yesterday, let's go ahead and review today's assignment. So for Monday, November 21st, you of course made your bed up and then you had your last meal between 5 and 7 p.m. No snacking after 7 p.m. And for today's exercise, you got to pick the exercise that you wanted to do. And I said, you can pick up to any exercise we've done so far, which is bar, yoga, kickboxing, and dance. Is there one that you really like? How about the one that is really hard for you? but maybe you want to try it again anyway. So let me know down in the comment section which exercise you picked. Did you pick the one that's kind of your go-to that you always enjoy or did you challenge yourself today and actually pick the one that's maybe a little bit harder for you? Are you learning to find the value in the resistance, in the friction, in the hard stuff? So you took your five-minute cold shower and then you were back to your all meditation. And of course, you had your food journal, which you've been doing for most of this uh, this challenge. Now, your your um, journal today again. What exercise did you pick, and why? What about this particular exercise exercise video really resonates with you? What are you learning about yourself in this particular video? List five things you like about yourself. Five things you're grateful for today. How are you processing all the heavy work from the week before? Because last week was heavy work. Is new stuff coming up for you? If so, what is it? Are you finding it easier to lean into the uncomfortable feelings? How does pain, emotional or physical, bring us to a place of honesty and healing? How is pain necessary for us to grow? Describe in your own words the concept of descending in order to ascend. So I want to hear from you guys. Like again, why? What have you learned from these videos? What What have you learned from the easy stuff and the hard stuff? And what have you, it has your uh, opinion on pain or your perspective rather on pain change. That's, that's probably one of the biggest lessons of shadow work and rewiring the programming of the brain is that when something is not feeling good in the body, it's not a bad thing. In fact, it's, it's a good thing because something is surfacing for us to work on. I, again, I tell the story of my teacher, David Guri, where in conference, he said once that he had asked Guruji in a conference, you know, Guruji, is, is this pain in the practice necessary? And Guruji said, yes, because pain is real. Pr a pain brings us. Discomfort and pain brings us to a place of honesty. It brings us to a place of understanding of our own self. It, it brings us to a place of understanding our own ego. And so I want to hear from you. Is this a revelation? Are you viewing yourself differently now when you stumble upon something that's a little bit of a resistance for you? All right. Look three people in the eyes and smile today. Same bedtime routine. Tomorrow. Oh, I'm. I missed, I misstated this. Tomorrow is the 22nd. So Tuesday, November 22nd. Let's just go ahead and fix that right here. The 22nd. So make your bed up. Your last meal should be between 5 and 7 p.m. No snacking after 7 p.m. All right. Again, once again, you're picking your own exercise tomorrow as well and doing the all meditation again. Okay. So for tomorrow's journal, once again, you got to pick your own workout. Did you pick the same one as the day before or did you try something different? Why? And picking your own workout, are you going for the exercises that are too easy for you or are you picking the ones that are too challenging? In both cases, why? If you picked one that is too easy for you, do you often avoid challenges in life? If you pick that one, the one that was too hard, are there times in your life where you are too hard on yourself or carry too many expectations for yourself? Regardless of your answer, take some time again to sit and allow yourself to drop into your body. What is your body telling you? Are you sure it's your body talking and not your ego? For the remainder of the challenge, what are some new goals you want to set for yourself? List five things you like about yourself and three new things you want to improve. Now, I will say we had our first um, yoga intensive last night with an awesome group, and we talked a lot about the subtle and gross body. So that's kind of what I'm talking about here. Um, what is your body telling you? Are you sure it's your body talking and not your ego? So the more we get into shadow work, the more we start to exercise, the more we start to work with the body and work with the pains in the body, we, we are able to better distinguish between the ego, the false sense of self, and the actual information from the body. Um, and that, again, goes into subtle understanding of the subtle energies of body. So I want to know if this is something that you are able, that you're, you're not having a revelation about, okay? 
take a moment today to observe nature in the northern hemisphere we're in the season of autumn or fall as we say in the states how beautiful is this time of year nature knows faith nature knows faith better than humans know faith in the autumn months the trees have no problem re releasing their leaves to death they accept because they know in the spring life will return again to their branches what can you learn from this are there times in your life where you have held too tightly clinging more to fear than faith what are some things that you can let go of all right so that's super important what are some things that you can actually let go of where is fear taking over faith we know what fear is fear is false evidence appearing real again tomorrow you're going to look three people in the eyes and smile and the same for your bedtime routine and then we'll look um tomorrow we'll look into wednesday all right, you guys. So once again, I am so incredibly proud of all of you. You're doing such an incredible job. And so many people, especially in the signal group, are having revelations. I won't say the name, but somebody in the group talked about how, how today they were feeling a little bit sick yesterday, but they exercised anyway. And it shocked them. The detoxing that happened, how good they felt after actually doing the exercise. And that's something that I'm glad you guys are discovering because everything you've been taught about yourself from the Western, or not Western, from the controllers from the medical world is frankly bullshit it's all bullshit right you're so much more powerful and you're so much stronger and the pains in your body the sicknesses in your body it's just it's just your body trying to get back into balance with with itself and if we ignore that and we try to medicate it or, or put a band-aid over it the the soul and the body are never going to get back into that alignment and so next life it has to be done again and so i'm so proud of you guys and and i as i said last night with our yoga group it, it, the theory of this is a lot easier than the practice of this to practice this is extremely hard it's extremely hard why because pain is real right it sucks it's hard and so i am so 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 proud of you we, we are going to be prepping for the drawings for the prizes very soon because that is coming very soon again i know we're coming up for thanksgiving this week in the united states so for all the americans if you notice in the challenge if you read ahead there are some changes being made to the thanksgiving schedule in order to make way and make space for the holiday again for our other friends in other countries we invite you to celebrate with us um go and find some friends have them come over to your house for a meal or go out to eat with them and just be in fellowship and celebration with people in your life on thursday if you want to if you're from another country and you want to maintain the same challenge schedule that's fine too and you can just observe and learn because coming up in december most of the world is heading into christmas and so that's a big holiday and so you can start to learn from the the smaller holiday which is thanksgiving although thanksgiving is really big in the united states um by observing how to handle that resistance that friction that you might feel with certain family members as Ram Dass says if you think you're enlightened go spend a week with your family so anyway guys let me know how you're doing it down in the comment section below again I am so freaking proud of you guys y'all are rock stars I am starting to prepare for the 60-day challenge so hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll have that set up so we can start sending those challenges out starting in January and the new yoga course will be up soon on our website it should be processed up today starting um, on January 8th. Okay, you guys, talk to you soon. Bye.